Dear Santa Claus, I've been a very good boy this year. I've stayed in my own room, and I've taken out the trash at least twice. I'm writing you this letter to let you know I don't really have a restraining order against me. Those were just naughty rumors created by a Grinch. My Christmas list is short. All I really want is a box of colored rocks, and maybe if you can swing it for me, a new Mr. Potato Head. I got hungry and ate my last one. I'll be happy with anything you bring me. I'm easy to please and never a tease. I'll leave you some nice sugar cookies and a glass of curdled milk to wash it down with. I'm going to find it really hard to sleep tonight. I'll try and count sheep and see what that does for me. Yours truly or not, Little Bill from Iowa. Not working. Hey, Ma, do we have any more crayons? This one's out of ink. Even with that being said, even if we don't have any more crayons, take a look at my handwriting. Isn't that nice? I'm getting better. I'm staying in the lines now, even though there are no lines. Each year I get better as I get older. I guess that's what happens when you age. About 10 more years, I should have it perfect. Okay, are you ready? Here we go, on to the next scene. Whoop. Just look at all these wonderful Christmas cards I have. I send out I send out big cards like this every year. Maybe not to everybody, but to as many people as I can find. And uh, sometimes people don't want to display the cards I send them for whatever reason. And I want to show you what you can do with them if you don't want to put them on your your uh, dry sink or your hutch or your mantle, you know, wherever you store them or your table, wherever you put them on your fireplace or in your fireplace. That's a good place for it. That's a good place for the cards I send you, it's in your fireplace. Okay, let me show you what you can do. Hold on, just one second. You're, you're gonna love this. You can, you can use your card, since they're heavy, they're, he they're made on heavyweight paper, you could use it as a doorstop or a door jam. Let me show you how that works. You just put it like right here, get down right here, and put it like right there, right there in front of the door, just like that, see? Just like that. Let's zoom in a little bit here. See where that is? Isn't that lovely? Now, what will happen is that nobody will be able to get in the door now. If you have unwanted guests like around Christmas time and you don't want them in, well, they're never going to get in as long as that card's down there. And I'll show you how that works. You want me to show you how that works? I will show you exactly how that works. I think somebody's coming to the door. Let me see. Let's see who it is. Who is it? Come on in. What do you mean you can't get the door open? I can't get it open either. It seems to be jammed for some reason. It's not opening. It won't budge. No, I'm sorry, Aunt Melly. The back door doesn't work either. The lock is broke. I'm afraid if you want to come in, you're just going to have to come down the chimney. It's the only way. We don't have a chimney. She's never getting in, and she doesn't even know it. <laughs> Y'all remember Trigger? <laughs> He's my friend. He told me it's time to open up some presents. So I said to myself, okay. Sorry I have to talk with this accent, but it's part of the skit. So I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, we're going to get on the tree and see what's under there. Before it, before it gets dark outside again, okay? Let, let me change the camera angle and we'll, and we'll open up some presents. I 
I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna go look. I got a big box. This big box over here. I've already unwrapped it, but I haven't taken out the contents. Let's see what's in it. Right here it is. See, it's a big box. Oh, look what it is. It's a girl horse. <laughs> I think I'll call her Sheila. <laughs> I'm going to go get Trigger and I'm going to introduce Trigger to Sheila and see how well they get along. You still with me, partner? Trigger? Hey there, Trigger. You're named after Roy Rogers' horse. You know that? Roy Roger had a TV show and his horse's name was Trigger. Now, Sheila over here, this is Sheila. You like Sheila? <laughs> Hey, stop horsing around, you two. This is a family program. Hey, I'm telling you, if you don't knock it off, I'm going to have to put you back in the stable. You don't want that. <coughs> Aren't they cute? Mm, they make a good couple. Mm. Oh, go get a stable, you two. Okay, I'm going to tie the horsies up on the hitching post and the... I'm going to unwrap the rest of my presents. So just give me a few minutes and I'll be back. Make that three seconds. Okay, I'm back. Look what the neighbors brought me. I opened it up earlier because I just couldn't wait. It's a subway card. I normally take the bus, but, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> what? Anyway, let's see what's in the stocking. Tree. Ooh, what was that? Here it is. Let's see what's in it. It's, it's got a present. It's got it's got two in it. Well, let's open this one and see what it is. Na 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 na. Oh, look what it is. It's a half-eaten fruit cake. How did Santa know I like fruit cake? Isn't that lovely? Even though half of it's gone, I don't need it all because I'm on a diet. You know? So I'll just eat a couple of slices and save the rest till New Year's. Ding! Okay. Let's see what else is in the present. Ooh! Hey, there's no mousetrap in here this year. I must have been better. I must have been a good boy this year. Here it is. Mmm, this smells like perfume. Chanel number five. But I'm just guessing. Let's see what it is. Oh, you're never gonna believe this. Look at that. How did Santa know? Somebody's been talking to Santa. You know what? I think this will last me till the new year. Can't wait to use it. Thank you, Santa. You're the best. Okay, let's open another package. What's this one? Santa sure does bring me a lot of nice gifts. It does sound expensive, doesn't it? You know what? I think I'll open it later. I always save the best gifts for the last. The last for the best and the best for the last. Can't wait. Oh, this one's nice and cushiony. I wonder what this one could be. Mmm, can't wait to get my mittens in here. Mmm. You gotta be a real man to open a package like this. I'll let you know when I find one. <laughs> oh. Santa brought me this same thing last year. You'll never believe it. Look. Can you read that? Who told Santa I was running low? Anyway, I can't wait to strap one of these on and try it out. But you know what? I'm not going to do it right now because I still have another gift or two to open. Thank you, Santa. You gave me great pleasure. Road trip.
Okay. Oh, what do we got? We got this present left. Mmm. It's wrapped up. Oh, I know what this is. It's a chainsaw. I bet I can take it out of the box. Hey. I hope it has gas in it. I better be careful with this. I don't want to lose any digits before the New Year's. Always be careful, folks. You're supposed to wear safety glasses when you run a chainsaw. But you know what I could use this for, really? When Christmas is over, I can cut down my tree. You know what I think I'll do right now? I think I'll notch it underneath there so that the day after Christmas comes, the tree will just fall down by itself. Won't that be neat? Let me get the camera angle down and show you how that works. Oh! I'm under the tree! Oh! Ouch! Good thing I have my helmet on. Okay. Okay, I got the, I got it notched. So, hopefully the day after Christmas, maybe the second day after Christmas, I'm not sure, because I was never good at math. That's when the tree will fall down on its own. And I'll drag it out and take it to the backyard. And I'll make mulch out of it. And I'll put it in the doggy pen so the doggies will stay nice and warm throughout the winter. Because that's what good mulch does. It keeps my doggies warm. Okay, what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to... I'm going to sing a little Christmas song for you. We can't end this video without a Christmas song. There always has to be a Christmas song. Let me find my microphone. Sheila wants to sing with me, but she can't. You know why? She's just a little horse. <laughs> She's just going to have to sit over here. I'm going to put her on the hitching post. I'm going to sing you a little holiday song. But then this video will be over with. And then you can go back to your life. For the end of the year. For the rest of your life. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to sing to you. Everybody, everybody, hold hands and brace yourself. Here we go. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. No matter how far away you roam. When you pine for the sunshine of a friendly gaze For the holidays you can't beat home sweet home I met a man who lives in Tennessee And he was heading for Pennsylvania And some homemade pumpkin pie From Pennsylvania folks were traveling Down to Dixie's sunny shore from Atlantic to Pacific, gee, the traffic is terrific. Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. No matter how far away you roam. If you want to be happy in a million ways. For the holidays, you can't beat home sweet home. For the holidays, you can't beat home. Sweet home. That's true. You really can't beat home, sweet home. The best thing you can do, if there's nobody around, is just to make yourself a bologna sandwich and eat it. Eat it as fast as you can because it's delicious. It's, it's not as good as turkey, but it'll have to do if it's all you have. Okay. Anyway, I want to wish all of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah if it's not over with yet. And um, a happy New Year's because uh, in New Year's, uh, we 2019, New Year's, everything's going to be different. Everybody's going to have a new revolution. And um, I hope they're good ones. And I hope it's a good year for everybody, especially me and 
My boy Trigger. <laughs> he's a good boy. I think he's part coyote. <laughs> and then and then we have Sheila here. And she's a nice addition to the to the family, isn't she? <laughs> I'm gonna take her out to the stable here in a little bit and give her some feed. Cause she's mighty hungry. Okay, everybody. I'm going to wish you a Merry Christmas again. Merry Christmas to you and all of yours. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make your hearts be kind. And from now on, our troubles will be yours and not mine. Have yourself a merry little Christmas night.